all right everybody welcome back to the channel in this video i just want to share my quick experience with uh, my tesla charging at a reduced rate only eight amps so just like normal i, I, um, I came back from uh uh from eating out and uh, i put in my charger i didn't realize anything right and maybe after about 30 minutes and i just double checked the app and i realized and i noticed that it's only charging at eight amps so <clears throat> what I did was uh, I just unplugged the, uh, the the Tesla charger and wait for a little bit and I put it back in and I noticed that it's, it's still only charging at 8 amps and on the indicator of the, the port it showed that it's green is charging but on the app and I and the uh, the monitor inside the vehicle it actually shows only at 8 amp and on the uh, on the screen it actually shows something about checking the wall connector, unplug it, make sure all the, everything's connected, right? So uh, I went a further and then I, I disconnected the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the breaker and I flip it off and I turn it back on. And again, I unplug it, put it in and still the uh, same thing, only eight amps. And I went back and I checked furthermore because what happened is, you know, with the plug where you put the uh, uh, the 1450, the plug into that one, make sure it's snug and the, from the connector there, it go into the, the the little, the module where it say the word Tesla. I noticed on there that it, it, uh, it has a red thing that keep on flashing right before the, uh, the letter T. And so when I come close to that one, I noticed uh, the, the connection is not closed completely. So what I did was just push it all the way back in and it charged it uh, back to 32 amp. So over time, I think like every time when I try to pull it to, you know, to all the way to, to charge it. And uh, I guess it's ex expanded out or it's got loose, but somehow it's still connected and it still get to give you the charge, but at a reduced rate. Uh, and but that's how you check it so if you happen to have like uh, if your Tesla charging at, uh, at a reduced uh, rate to 8 amp that's how you would check it make sure you check all the connections you know turn off the breaker turn it back on and how uh, the mobile can unplug unplug the um, the 1450 and then push it back in and make sure the connector everything's is tight and snug then it should go back but that's my case your case might be different but uh, hopefully if this happened to you guys out there, you know what to do and you know what to look for. But uh, thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. And that, uh, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.